If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Four Moms Mamaru Swing. This swing retails for 330 Canadian dollars, so it is on the high end of the swing market. When we were thinking about buying this swing, I was looking online at some of the reviews that are there, and they either were super old or they were actually made by companies that are selling the swing. Since I'm actually using the swing, I wanna let you know what I actually think about it so far and if I think it's worth the money. For some background, my older son was absolutely crazy for swings. The swing that my older son had was a Fisher Price swing. I never had to force my older son to like his swing. It was just something that came very naturally. We would put him down on his swing and he would be wide awake and within about five minutes or so, he would be completely knocked out. So when we were pregnant, I knew that I really wanted to buy a swing for our new baby because it was something that was so important the first time around. It's safe to say we are a swing family. The seat of the swing is completely adjusted so you just flip this switch and you can move the position up and down to whatever position your baby prefers. For moms online who have babies with acid reflux, I've heard they like to keep the swing seated upright, so that's an option if you need it. The swing has a buckle, although I find the position of the buckle a little bit awkward, or maybe my son is just in an in-between stage where it's not hitting at the right height. The swing has a mobile that hangs up above the swing. One side of the balls are black and white and the other side is colored, so you have the option to reverse them if you'd like. Most research says that babies can't see in color when they're first born, so when my son was a newborn, he would look up at the black and white balls. Now that my son is four months old, we reverse the balls to the colored side, and he likes it just as much. You can swivel the mobile that hangs up above the swing to the right or the left. I feel like if my son gets a good grip of this mobile at some point, it's gonna really bend. This swing comes with so many different motions. There's kangaroo, there's car ride, there's tree swing. My son prefers the car ride motion. This swing also comes with a mobile app so you can change all of these things remotely although I've never really used this feature and I don't know how useful this is I can't see myself whipping out my phone to change the settings of a swing the swing comes with five different speeds usually we go three and above for my son but you do have the option for speeds one through five to change the sound you press down on the middle button and to change the speed of the swing you press the arrows up and down which changes how fast the swing is swinging also you can change the sounds that the swing is playing you press down on the sound button and that'll turn Turn it on. For the sounds you can change the volume up and down and it has a variety of different sounds like rain and heartbeat which are really nice white noises for your baby. I'll start with some of the things that we absolutely love about this swing. First of all we absolutely love the fact that it plugs in. With the Fisher Price swing we had to constantly buy these massive D batteries and we had to change them every two weeks because we went through them so much and he was on the swing so much. So the fact that this swing actually plugs into the wall is a huge benefit. We were always petrified of being in the house and not having the batteries on hand. We absolutely love the look and the design of this swing. It's just so modern looking. Most other swings are kind of an eyesore in your house. This one really stands out for its very sleek and modern design. In my opinion, another pro for this swing is the fact that it comes with such a variety of sounds. Most swings come with a really, I don't want to say annoying, but I guess it's annoying lullaby. This one comes with a variety of different white noises, which we have playing in my baby's room anyways for continuity it's something that's really great another benefit that's kind of weird but I've really been enjoying is the fact that I can turn the swing on and off with my big toe and I know that sounds really bizarre but when you have a baby in your hand you don't want to bend over completely to press that power button so you can just put your toe on the power button and turn it on and off without bending or straining your back because the swing is so sleek and small compared to other swings it's not awkward at all to carry around and move it room to room it's pretty portable I remember with my older son's swing especially lifting it up and down on the stairs was a huge hassle and it was really awkward to do. Because there isn't any swinging parts that'll come and hit you if you're carrying it, it's absolutely perfect. Another thing I love about this swing is the fact that it's machine washable. Baby mishaps are bound to happen. They're bound to have a poop explosion or a pee leak or a puke or something. The fact that you can zip the material off the swing and just throw it in the wash is a massive advantage. For me, the number one con for this swing has got to be the price. This swing is twice the price of any other swings in the market, which is a massive con for me. This swing is not really ready to go when you buy it for a newborn. For this swing, you have to buy a separate newborn insert, which to me is a con because it's not completely ready to go when you first buy it. This newborn insert ended up coming to about $50 Canadian, which is not cheap by any means, especially because you're already paying about $330 or so for the swing already. So I'll show you the newborn insert. 
it comes like this it's reversible so you have a gray side on this side and then you have a multicolored side on this end you can use the swing without the newborn insert but especially for a small newborn baby it just doesn't look very comfortable and they're sort of hanging and sagging inside of the seat the biggest con of all for me is the fact that my swing actually broke within the first month or two of having the swing the sound menu completely stopped working and I reached out to them to get assistance and I'm not able to get assistance from anybody which is a massive downside yes the swing does come with a warranty but it's impossible to get service which is a massive con for me this swing has an aux cord although Samsung and Apple haven't really made a device with a headphone jack for a long time so I'm not sure what device you would plug in the option is there if you wanted to use it it's funny because a lot of the videos I saw online were moms recommending this swing but any mom that I spoke to in my real life they all said that the swing just didn't work for them their baby hated it I get the question a lot if I feel like this swing is worth the money and I would honestly say no the swing on paper is absolutely perfect. You can tell they did all the research. It's a very high tech swing, although my baby didn't really like it. I have to sort of force him to like the swing. In my house, this four mom swing is a place to put my baby down so that he doesn't get hurt or roll over and fall off of something, but it's not somewhere that I would put my baby to soothe him and have him nod off to sleep, honestly. If you're going to buy a swing, I would recommend the Fisher Price swings or at least a swing that rocks back and forth or side to side. To me, this swing is the perfect example of if it's not broken, don't fix it. If you're going to spend money on your baby, there's many areas that you can splurge on, but I don't think necessarily it has to be in this area. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a $100 Fisher Price swing because it works just as well. In my opinion, it might even work better. For some reason, I thought I would buy this for mom's swing and my baby would be the anomaly and he would absolutely love it, but of course, I wasn't the anomaly. My son doesn't hate the swing, but he definitely doesn't find it soothing. If I put my son down on the swing when he's sleeping, he's completely awake and alert. Another pro for this swing is the fact that it has a big aftermarket. So once you're done with the swing, you can go onto a buy sell page or Kijiji and actually sell your swing. So even though you've watched this review and it's pretty negative, if you wanna buy a four mom's Mamaru swing, hit me up. Let me know in the comments below if you're either thinking about the Mamaru swing or if you've already purchased it and let me know your thoughts down below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mom.